October the 14th. Today we celebrate the memory of our Holy Father, Cosmas, Bishop of Mayuma, the hymnographer. Saint Cosmas was left an orphan when he was still very young. He was adopted by Sergius, the father of Saint John of Damascus, and a man of high rank and great wealth in the city. Sergius saw to it that his own son John and his adopted son Cosmas received an excellent education at the hands of a Sicilian monk, himself called Cosmas, who taught them all he knew. Both young men were very able students, and it was not long before everyone was amazed at their knowledge of grammar and philosophy, music, astronomy and geometry. They both became monks in the Lavra of St. Sabas, and so concluded their study of earthly wisdom by applying themselves to the science of sciences, ascetical struggle and prayer, which is the true philosophy. After John became a priest, the members of the Synod of Jerusalem prevailed over Cosmas to accept the bishopric of Mayuma, a church dependent on Jerusalem. He tended his spiritual flock in peace for many years and fell asleep in the Lord. He is well known as the composer of many poetic canons, mainly for the great feasts of the Lord. The Holy Spirit gave him the ability to express the essence of the theological teaching of the fathers of the Church in the form of hymns thereby making their doctrine accessible to all the faithful as they come together in the churches to sing the glory of God. to thee, O God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, O comforter, the spirit of truth, who art in all places and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Orthodoxy, teacher of piety and holiness, luminary of the world, God inspired adornment of heart. O wise cosmos, by thy teachings thou hast enlightened all, O harp of the Spirit. Intercede with Christ God that our souls be saved. Through the deep of the Red Sea marched dry shod Israel of old, and by Moses' outstretched hands raised in the form of a cross, the power of Amalek was routed in the wilderness. Holy Father Cosmos, pray to God for us. Having adorned thy life with the light of the virtues, O Father Cosmos, 
shining with the brilliance of the thrice radiant light, thou dost stand before thy master, Pray thou that those who him thee find enlightenment. Holy Father Cosmos, pray to God for us. Thy character has revealed thee to have a right fitting name, for thou hast been shown to be an adornment of hierarchs, the confirmation of monastics, O wise one, and the abode of wisdom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O most wise lover of wisdom, thou dost wisely purify thy soul, O renowned Cosmos driving away the turmoil of the world as it were the gloom of darkness. Both now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us hymn the pure and immaculate maiden Mary, reverently glorifying her together as the mother of God, crying, Rejoice, O pure bride of God, blessed Virgin Mother. Thy church, O Christ, rejoices in thee, crying aloud, Thou, O Lord, art my strength, my refuge and foundation. O Holy Father Cosmos, pray to God for us. With beautiful hymns thou didst gladden the bride of Christ, moving her to hymnody, manifestly setting forth the divine mysteries of Christ. O Holy Father Cosmos, pray to God for us. Nurtured on the laws of Christ, O Father Cosmos, thou didst sustain the flock, entrusted to thee with orthodox precepts. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Having acquired within thee a soul, burning with the fire of divine zeal, O venerable Father Cosmos, thou didst burn up all heresies. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The shadows have passed away, and the truth of Christ has shone forth, O Mother of God. For receiving flesh from thy womb, he has saved us. Having been raised in piety and faith, and adorned thy mind and soul with wisdom, thou didst flee all earthly cares and dwelling alone, setting thy mind on ineffable things, thou wast deemed worthy of great grace. Wherefore, having adorned the divine Church of Christ, with honey dreams and doctrines, O holy hierarch Cosmos, our Father, entreat Christ God that he grant remission of sins unto those who with love honor thy holy memory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. By conceiving the wisdom and word of God in thy womb without being consumed thereby, thou bearest for all the world him that filleth the universe. Thou hast borne in thine arms him that holdeth together all, who hath fashioned creation and giveth the food to all. Wherefore I beseech thee, O thou all holy virgin, And Mother of God, that I be redeemed from my many sins, when I shall have to stand before the face of my Creator and God, O pure Virgin Lady, help me in that hour, for thou canst do whatsoever thou dost will, O all hymned me. Beholding thee, the Son of Righteousness, lifted up upon the cross, standing in its place, the church worthily cried out aloud, Glory to thy power, O Lord. O Holy Father Cosmos, pray to God for us. Having first cleansed the eye of thy heart of the turmoil of the passions, O Hierarch Cosmos, thou didst chant beautiful and salvic, salvific hymnody, enlightening the church. O Holy Father Cosmos, pray to God for us. O Cosmos, thy most praiseworthy and delightful hymns, adorned with dogmas and the beautiful melodies, have become the healing of all despair for those who love them. O Holy Father Cosmos, pray to God for us. The church, O All-Blessed One, which had become ill because of the blasphemous and foolish edicts of Copronymus, 
was healed with thy writings, which thou didst melodiously chant. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In that thy hymns are wondrous and full of understanding, O Father, through them thou hast manifestly revealed to all the mysteries of Christ, which are truly awesome, and most wondrous. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us him, the most holy Theotokos, who gave birth to the word of God in the flesh, in two natures but a single hypostasis, as the godly cosmos has taught. Thou, O Lord, who camest into the world, art my light, a holy light turning from the darkness of ignorance those who sing thy praises in faith. Holy Father Cosmos, pray to God for us. Thy sound is passed over all the ends of the earth, O wise Cosmos, gladdening with divine hymns those who praise thee. Holy Father Cosmos, pray to God for us. Thou didst say that in a manner transcending the laws of nature, the most holy Theotokos gave birth to the supremely divine word. Wherefore we call thee blessed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Sweetly chanting wondrous hymns, thou didst hymn the ineffable nativity of the Master from the most pure Virgin, O most sacred one. Both now and forever, to the ages of ages, Amen. The lightning flash of thy birth giving has illumined the whole world, O all hymned one. And the earth has been moved from delusion to faith in him. The church cries out unto thee, O Lord, I will sacrifice unto thee with a voice of praise, having been cleansed of the blood of the demons by the blood that for mercy's sake flowed from thy side. O Holy Father Cosmos, pray to God for us. Thy words were like sweet honeycomb, delighting the hearts of the pious, who hymned the baptism of the Saviour and Simeon's encounter and departure. O Holy Father Cosmos, pray to God for us. Not in words, but by material things, O Blessed One, didst thou set forth in hymns the raising of Lazarus from the dead, the children's praise, and the hatred of the Jews. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou didst adorn the elevation of the thrice-blessed tree, chanting him the full of all gladness and joy, in the hymns thereof, O all blessed one. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Following thy divinely inspired words, O virgin maiden, all of us, the generations of mankind, call thee blessed, thou art the blessed mother of the good God. Adorned with the virtues, O divinely inspired cosmos, thou wast the adornment of the Church of Christ, for thou hast embellished it with him, so blessed one. Pray thou to the Lord that we be delivered from all the wiles of the enemy. For we cry to thee, rejoice, O thrice blessed Cosmos. In the Persian furnace, the youths and descendants of Abraham, burning with the love of piety rather than by the flame of a fire, cried out aloud, saying, Blessed art thou in the temple of thy glory, O Lord. O Holy Father Cosmos, pray to God for us. Every soul is gladdened upon reading thy hymns, O divinely wise Father, and cries out with faith. 
O God of our fathers, blessed are thou. O Holy Father, cause most pray to God for us. Truly thy tongue, O Father, became the pen of the Holy Spirit, recording the great wonders of the world, like a swiftly writing scroll. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The law of praise is vanquished in thee, O Father, for there is nothing fit to serve as praise for thee, who has recounted the mighty works of the Master. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. What mortal tongue can worthily bless thee, who has given birth to God, O Bride of God? Wherefore we cry out with faith, Rejoice, O pure Virgin, Rejoice, O exceedingly glorious one. Having spread his hands, Daniel clothed the lion's jaws in their den, while the zealously pious youths, girded with virtue, quenched the power of the fire and cried aloud, Bless the Lord, all ye works of the Lord. Holy Father Cosmos, pray to God for us. Strengthened by the staff of thy dogmas, O glorious one, we who praise thee turn away from all the evils of heresy and piously chant to Christ, crying, Bless the Lord, all ye works of the Lord. Holy Father Cosmos, pray to God for us. Being far above all in intellect, O Cosmos, thou didst describe the meal at which the Lord offered the life-bearing mysteries, and the dread betrayal and inhumanity of Judas, which thou hast taught us to flee. We bless the Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Shining with the rays of immaterial light, O most venerable cosmos, thou dost describe the most pure sufferings, burial, resurrection, and transfiguration of Christ, teaching all to chant, Bless the Lord, all ye works of the Lord. Both now and forever, to the ages of ages, Amen. Thou didst spring forth as a rod from the root of Jesse, O most pure virgin, who gave birth to the Lord, the flower who perfumes us with the myrrh-laden scents of his sufferings. Wherefore we all bless thee, O Mary, Bride of God. A cornerstone not cut by hand, O Virgin, was cut from thee the unhealed mountain. Even Christ, who has joined together the separated natures, therefore rejoicing we magnify thee, O Theotokos. O Holy Father Cosmos, pray to God for us. We magnify thee as one rich and noble, shining with the rays of the virtues, and illumining the faithful who honour thee with praises, and chant in an orthodox manner, O thrice holy Cosmos. O Holy Father Cosmos, pray to God for us. Shining with divine laws, and having guided thy flock to the life-bearing meadow, O blessed and venerable one, as he is meet, thou hast passed over to the heavens, reaping the fruit of thy pangs. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The never waning light was revealed to thee, who has now been translated from transitory things, and art rightly purified, and most manifestly and purely delighting therein. Be thou mindful of those who honour thee, O right glorious one. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glorifying thee as it is written, we call thee blessed, O Theotokos, the most holy virgin who art more glorious than the seraphim, and has given birth to Christ, who shone forth beginninglessly from the Father. Guide of orthodoxy, teacher of piety and holiness, luminary of the church, God-inspired adornment of hierarchs. O wise cosmos, by thy teachings thou hast enlightened all, O harp of the Spirit, intercede with Christ God that our souls be saved. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honourable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, our hope, glory to you. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Holy Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, and the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist, of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy and life-giving cross of the Lord, of the holy bodiless powers of heaven, with the prayers of St. Ninian and St. Cuthbert, the bishops of God, St. Cisoes the Great, St. Brandon the Navigator, St. Oran of Iona, St. Columba of Iona, St. Kenneth, St. Ronan, St. Molog, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors. With the prayers of our venerable father, Cosmas, the hymnographer, Bishop of Mayuma, with the prayers of the holy martyrs, Probus, Tarachus, and Andronicus at Tarsus, with the prayers of our father among the saints, John, the Archbishop of San Francisco, the uncovering of whose relics we commemorate on this day too, with the prayers of our fathers and mothers, among the saints, St. Fich, St. Wilfrith, St. Edwin, and St. Ethelburga, and those with them known and unknown to us, but known to God in his kingdom, whose memory we keep this day. With the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. For he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. For the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.